What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Um, I just want to give everybody an update. Um, I know y'all were worrying about me. <laughs> um, I, could, I just called the police, the city police, and um, they said that basically he'll have to, he would have to go through this whole process, go before a judge, and prove that basically why I shouldn't be here. Um, there's been no money handled over, um, no money handed over. There's been no deed change. There's been none of that, none of that. So, um, I just looked up a lawyer, property lawyer, and I'm going to visit, I'm going to call this lawyer tomorrow and, uh, consult with this lawyer, um, because what this guy did was wrong. It was a scam. It was a scam and he was very pushy and he was very rude. And obviously all he thinks about is money. Um, he needs to think, I mean, this is my home and yes, I shouldn't have signed it. I shouldn't have, but the reality is I'm not. For, my home is not in foreclosure. There's no reason. I mean, I it's still my home. It is still my home, period, point blank. And I'm going to protect my home, period, point blank. So um, I just want to give everybody an update. Um, I was under emotional distress, du duress during all that. So, and I'm not anymore. So, you know, he can bring it. And the thing is, I want to tell you guys, the thing is, his signature is not even on the contract, you guys. It's a woman's signature. The owner of the company. It's not even his signature. Yeah, shocker. Not. And some of the things in there, he's talking about facts, aren't even correct. Um, and that's just the truth. And the original contract said two hundred eighty thousand dollars. He only told me one hundred and ninety five thousand dollars. He did not tell me two hundred eighty. There had to be an amendment for that. He sent me the amendment first before the original contract. Meaning, when I saw the amendment, he didn't send me the original contract before the amendment. He sent the amendment, so I signed the amendment first. Then he sent me the original contract, so I would see where the original is at two hundred eighty thousand. So that's sneaky and deceptive too. It was a huge ass scam. Um, and I'm not, uh, uh I'm not okay with that. So, you know, I told him it'd be better just to walk away. He didn't want to listen to me. So, you know, fine, we can go to the court of law. But I called the city police and they said basically they can't get the officers to come. Uh, he can't do any of that until they can prove that I shouldn't be here. So I'm going to a property lawyer tomorrow because this is ridiculous. I love you guys. Namaste.